Hi guys, this is Allison. So today I'm going to be filming my The 103-15 review. So this um, episode was titled Pervase, Per Perverse Instantiation, Part 1. Okay, so I really enjoyed this episode, so let's get started. Um, One thing I was really glad about is I'm so happy that Rowan is back. I've really missed Rowan. I, I like Rowan as a character. I feel like he is, uh, <clears throat> he is complex because, yes, he is Ice Nation um, as, as Gata, and he grew up there. But I also feel like he also kind of has, like, a heart, and he ha he... He knows right from wrong and is not hardened by his experiences being in the Ice Nation. Um, so I'm really interested just to see where he goes, like where his character goes from here. I really hope he's not dead. Um, I don't feel like he is though because I think the actor Zach McGowan confirmed that he was coming back for season four, which is awesome because I really like Rowan. And I like how he kind of definitely picks up on Bellamy, Bellamy and Clark's quirks and their feelings for each other, which is really exciting. Um... Yes, yeah, so I'm also, so another thing that I'm really glad about is I'm really just glad we got more um, interactions between Bellamy and Clark. Basically, you know, Clark is like, well, we're going to go, you know, get on Tari, put the AI in her head, and then, you know, people are hesitant, and they're like, that sounds like a horrible idea, so she kind of like goes off to be by herself in, in the woods, and I'm like, have you learned nothing? Like, do not go anywhere by yourself. Like, bad things happen when you're by yourself. Um, and so that was really sweet. Ali like Bellamy went and like followed her into the forest to see if she was okay and talked to her, kind of calm her down. They relate to each other on that. And that was just really sweet how, um, you know, he was like there for her and like protected her. And I mean, Rowan protected her as well, but also, um, he also protected her as well, you know, by making sure that everything was safe and that she was okay. And I also thought it was kind of interesting how. Um, Bellamy is like, how do we know that he's not chipped? And she was like, he's not chipped. Do you think, do you think, do you think he would have saved me? And then Bellamy is like, I gotta make sure. So he like shoots Rowan. And I was like, whoa, crud. Like, not expecting that. And then whenever they go inside, they're, you know, Rowan's like, we're even now. So kind of, I kind of like that, you know, I feel like Rowan is very snarky and he, plays well with the cast, he plays off well with the characters, his dialogue is good, and I really hope he's not dead. I'm sorry guys, I have a cold right now, that's why I sound like I'm all stuffed up, because I have a cold right now. Um, it's also, I'm not super excited because I'm like, trying to fight through exhaustion, but I want to do this video, I'm very excited for this. Okay, so, I'm going to go down the list. So, I'm really happy that Raven got back into Ali's system, I thought that was really great, how she and Monty were working together, oh my gosh. We got, we finally, um, it was revealed who was chipped and it was Jasper, which does not surprise me at all because I just, yeah. I mean, I was, to be honest, I was shocked. I thought it was going to be harder this whole time because I was like, that seems really random that she just would be like, let's have sex together, Monty. And then Jasper was chipped and I was like, oh my gosh, like what? And it was just nuts. Like. And him stabbing Monty, like, man. Like, it was so great to have that, like, hug between, like, Monty and, and um, Jasper, like, hugging like hugging him out. And then Ali is like, you can't let him have this motherboard. So he, like, stabs him. It's like, oh, my gosh. Can Monty catch a break? Like, come on. Um, so, of course, the plan to infiltrate, you know, Polis now ruined because Jasper knows the plan. So Ali knows the plan. And so they are on the rover. And so Raven has a radio, but they're not but they're not there, and so basically everything just going awry with that. Like, this was definitely, like, some of my favorite action scenes we've seen this um, season so far. I felt like it was very action-packed. It was just so thrilling. Like, I was on the edge of my seat from the very first frame, and it was just so thrilling and exciting, and um, I just thought it was crazy, like, how, like, Rowan's like, okay, like, the... Like, the plans changed, run. And he tries to run, and the cane just, like, shoots him, like, point blank. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, what? Man, you guys, it was crazy. I really hope he's not dead. I don't feel like he will be dead just because they just introduced his character, and I feel like he's important. At least they've shown that. But, again, anybody is fair game on this show. Anybody can die. Anybody can be expendable. So we'll have to see if he survives or not. Um... I love the battle scenes, like, so basically, I liked, I thought it was cool how, like, Murphy and Indra got to, like, save the day and save the gang, like, Bellamy, Octavia, 
Brian Miller and I have to save them and then you know of course Murphy's I'm Murphy's growing on me a lot I've I used to like hate Murphy and now it's just like a dislike of Murphy but he was he's been redeeming himself so I I trust him a little bit more now uh, I thought it was just really cool how you know he was like I think a thanks is in order and then and then like and then he's like it's time to go and like Billy was like we're not leaving and he's like I think you ever got the meeting of let's go and he was like Clark's in trouble and then Murphy's like Clark's always in trouble like I thought it was just really cool how um, they just you know play off one another Bellamy and Murphy because they used to be enemies like mortal enemies and now they're they're you know trying to save the ones that they love and you know Murphy's trying to save Amori and Bella was trying to save Clark and so that was just really sweet how they had that moment like in the elevator they just like you know hey you know the plan's gonna not work out and he was like no like this plan will work and it was just it's just so cool how Bella is being compared to a canon couple Amori which is just awesome you guys eventually it's gonna happen it's gonna be great um I thought it was just really awesome the whole elevator scene was just crazy intense because they're in like a really small box. They're trying to like fight for their lives pretty much. And then, you know, Bellamy and Murphy are there for each other. And they basically save each other's, save each other's lives. Which I thought was a really cool action scene. Props to Marshall Virtue, who is the head of stunts on The 100. He is awesome. And I would love to meet him someday. Okay, so, um, um, so let's talk about the whole Indra Octavia vibe. So we haven't seen Indra for a while. And Andrew did not know about Lincoln's death. And so, you know, Octavia has a right to be upset when Pike shows up. Like, she has every right to be upset. Like, heck, if someone, like, killed my boyfriend or killed my, my like, my best friend or, like, my best guy friend, like, I would be really upset. And it would be really hard for me to, like, work with that person. You know, and so, of course, Octavia's grieving and she's like, he killed Lincoln. Like, he shot him in the head and I don't want to work with this person. Like, why is he still alive? Which she has every right to be asking those questions. And so Andrew's like, you know the dead can't help us you know we need the living to to survive it's all about like survival and making it to to the next day and i just thought i just love i just love indra i love her mentorship of octavia i love how she's there for octavia and you know octavia lost her whole world like she really did like she lost lincoln she never really fit in with sky crew so yes she has a belly but she never really fit in with sky crew like truga was her whole world and then that got you know snatched away from her via pike and Octavia's grieving and so I just I just love that friendship I love how you know Octavia was crying and she was like he was my home and then you know Andrew was like pointing to her heart saying like your home is in here it was just really sweet and again the like Octavia feels you guys like, I keep thinking I'm over this darn ship and <laughs> I keeps being brought up and I'm just so sad that Lincoln was killed off like that's just really crappy and then I found out later on this like earlier this week that apparently Lincoln was not supposed to die in this finale. He was supposed to escape safely. And then Jason Rothenberger was like, changed the whole story to kill off Lincoln. Like, really? That's just some crap storytelling right, right there. Man, I'm so happy Ricky doesn't have to deal with bullying, though. I'm really pumped for American Gods. And I wish him the best of luck. I just feel like it was crappy the way his death went. Um... So yeah, um, I really hope that Indra's not dead because I really like Indra. Like, please do not kill off Indra. Like, that's the last person that Octavia has that really understands her. And yeah, <laughs> she rushes in to save Kane, which I think is a great friendship, but I'm just like, no, Indra. I really hope she's not dead. Um, I also thought it was really great. Like, whenever they get up to the, to the, to the throne room, that part was just disturbing with Abby and Clark. Like, that was disturbing. I couldn't really watch part of it because it was just, like, crossed a line for me emotionally and morally. I just couldn't watch it. But the parts I did watch, it was intense and crazy. And I'm really, you know, glad that, you know, like, Bellamy, like, saves, you know, he helped untie Clark and cares about her a lot. And is like, hey, like, you know, and they're, and, like, just, you know, cares about her. And he asks, asks if she's okay and course she's like bleeding from the stab wounds that her mom gave her and um you know they they, they try to save Antari and Antari's brain dead so they can't you know it, you know they can't chip her so I'm like who are they gonna chip like how are they gonna take down Allie I'm really interested another thought another thought I had is if they chip Rowan because Rowan is night blood because he's as Gaeta he's night blood so he's the commander so maybe he'll be not maybe he's a night blood that we don't know about um, I'm really just, this episode, man, it was great. I just cannot wait for the part two of the season finale. 
going to be really good, guys. Um, I am really worried it's going to be killed off. I don't know who it will be. We know we're going to lose someone major. And I know Christopher Larkin, who plays Monty, said that after the script, he was very upset and like couldn't go out to dinner. Like He was so distraught. So what I think my predictions for the part two is that basically anybody who's chipped is going to die. Anybody who's chipped is going to die, which is scary because in the promo we see Clark being chipped. And I'm not okay with that because I don't want Clark to die. She's such an awesome character and I love her leadership skills. I love her toughness and that's my ship, Blark. Like, I feel like all my ships have kind of like died. And so, um, Blark is like the last one, you guys. So I'm like holding out hope, like fingers crossed that she does not die because I just love their friendship and relationship. And it, it just, I don't even know how you could do the show without them. Like I really don't. Um, but yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, how are they going to stop Ali? Interesting question to ponder. Um, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.